In this question, we will calculate the hydrostatic force that's acting on this triangular plate when this is put down into the water vertically. How can we do it? Well, force is equal to pressure times area, and in this case, we have to use integration because the pressure are going to be different depending on how far down we are underneath the water. The pressure is going to be distance times the density, and we're talking about water, and we are talking about meters. So we are going to use 9.8 times 1,000 for the density of the water, and the area is usually the harder part. And let's begin with that. We begin with that by drawing a rectangle first, a rectangular strip like that. And let me label this right here as dy, the small change in the vertical uh, distance. And I would like to use um, my reference frame and to do that, you have choices. You can put down x and y like that. But let me just do it down here. Let me put down right in the middle. And I will say this is my x-axis. And then right in the middle, this right here will be my y-axis. And everything will be based on the choice of my reference frame. Well, this to that, it's going to be x. The area of this uh, small rectangle, it will be 2x times dy. But then, you know we are going to integrate over y, so we have to come up with an equation uh, relating the, the x and the y. And that relationship came from the equation of this line. Okay? So how can we do that? Well, I want to ask you, what's this point? Based on my reference frame, this point will be the whole thing on the base of the triangle was 4, right? But I cut into, um, into half, so this will be 2. And this is, is on the x-axis, so this point is 2, 0. How about this point? Well, this is 5 meter, so this right here will be 0, 0,5. Alright, so why well let's let's get the slope first what's the slope of this line this right here will be the y over x right but then we go down we look at this right here we go down five units and then move to the right two units so the slope is technically negative five over two and in this case we can use y is equal to m x plus b and the reason for that is because we know the y-intercept right away. This is 0, 5. Therefore, the b will be 5. And the slope is negative 5 over 2. So this is the quick way. If you want to use y minus y1 equals to m times parentheses x minus x1, that's fine too. Anyways, y will be m, which is negative 5 over 2x plus b. The b is once again the y-intercept, which is just the 5. However, we are going to solve for x. Look at this equation. Let's subtract 5 on both sides. So in another word, we have negative 5 over 2x equals to y minus 5. And then I will have to multiply both sides by 2 over 5, but negative on both sides. So I'll squeeze this right here, negative 2 over 5. So this with 5, 5, 2, 2, positive. Right? Everything will become positive on the left-hand side. x will be... Perhaps I can distribute this, negative 2 over 5y, and then this times that, negative times negative is positive, and then uh, the 5 cancels out, so plus 2. That's x in terms of y, and usually that's the harder part. Alright, for this rectangle, once again, the area will be 2x, so I'm going to uh, you know, just, just maybe that indicate this right here, total thing is 2x. Okay, so I would like to put down the integral now. Well, I'm going to build on my integral now. 2 times x, which is that, negative 2 over 5y plus 2, and then times dy. This right here represents the area of this rectangle. So we are done. The area is you know, done for that. But then we move to the next thing, which is the density of the water. We need that. 9.8 again 1,000. So I will multiply by 1,000 here and then multiply by 9.8 here. What else do I need? 
I need the distance now. So it will be based on the labeling. I have to ask myself, how far down is this rectangle underneath the water based on my labeling? The x-axis right, right. The x-axis was right here. That means from here to here will be the y value. I have to ask myself, what's the distance from here to here? All the way was 5 meters, right? But then this much is y already. That means from here to here, it will be the whole thing is 5 minus y. 5 minus y. So this is the distance that I'm going to use. I just need to multiply by that, 5 minus y. This right here will give you the force that's acting on this red rectangle here. And I just have to integrate it, the very first one, till the very last one. So I'll integrate this. The very first one will be y is equal to 0. And then the very last one, all the way on the top, is when y is equal to 5. So that will be the integral. And then that will give us the force for th that triangular plate. And we are done. And the answer, once you worked out this integral, this is approximately 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 5th power. And we are using SI unit. The force will be measured in Newton. So this right here is it.